Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video I am giving you guys a run through on how to set up your manual analog timer. These things are absolutely brilliant and they are the backbone of pretty much everyone's growing systems. Whether you need to turn your lights on and off, pumps, filters, all that kind of good stuff, it is generally done with a timer like this. Now we prefer these over the digital ones because digital ones are quite complicated to set up. These are really simple and I'm going to show you now how we're going to do that. So first of all, what we're going to do is just unpackage it. Now I will actually mention on all of these times as you are now receiving, they are actually two pole switching. Now for a lot of you out there, you probably don't know what that means, but it's a good thing. It means that this timer is effectively switching the phase and neutral on the pins there. So good for equipment that needs to be completely isolated. But anywho, beyond that, we're gonna show you how to set this up. So what we've got here is we've got a little arrow. First things first, when you plug this into power, which I'm going to do just now, this dial will start to rotate very slowly to the time of the day. So first thing you want to do is calibrate the time. So let's say it is 1 p.m. I'm just going to rotate that till we get to one o'clock on the timer. Magic. Now, next thing to do is set when you want your equipment to turn on. So let's say we want to schedule our equipment to turn on from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push these pins in from the 6 a.m. mark and we're just gonna push all those pins down the whole way around till we get to 6 p.m. Now these are the effectively the activation pins, so as long as if this arrow here is over the top of these depressed pins, the equipment will be turned on. It is quite that simple, so as the time of the day rotates, the equipment is on, the equipment is on, and as we go past 6 p.m., there'll be a click and the equipment will be off while these pins are up. So if you go, hey, halfway through the Today I just want the timer or whatever equipment to run for a few segments, you can easily just push those pins in and have the equipment turn on as soon as the arrow gets to it. But of course just remember you want to calibrate this time to the current time of day and then you can set your pins in however you need the equipment to run. But last thing, do not forget just on the top here there is a red toggle switch. Now this has effectively got a picture of a little time clock on the left hand side, well from my angle this side, and it's got a line on this side. Now if you've got it set to the line, which it is right now, it is set for override. So it doesn't matter what's going on on this timer face, your equipment will be running on. You don't want that of course, you want the timer clock. So we're gonna switch it towards the timer clock, like so. Now the timer is fully operational, that is effectively just an override for people who just want their equipment on. And of course, you're going to simply plug your equipment, whether it be lights or fans, straight in, and you are good to go. So a really easy way to set these up, of course, extremely reliable equipment. We get next to no problems with these, they are the best timers out. So I hope this video has helped you, but if you're running into any issues, give us a call here at Herbal House. Thanks for watching.